What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NFL Week 12 Steelers versus Ravens. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. Okay, in this video, I'm going to give you my top DFS picks for this Wednesday football game between the Baltimore Ravens and the Pittsburgh Steelers. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, this is still NFL week 12. This game's been postponed three times, so I'm happy we're finally gonna play this game on Wednesday. So let's take a look at this NFL showdown between the Baltimore Ravens and the Pittsburgh Steelers. So at the quarterback position, of course, the best quarterback on the slate is Ben Roethlisberger from the Pittsburgh Steelers, averaging 20.5 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 18, 32, and 28 fantasy points in the last three games. He's going to be about 71% owned, projected at 18.5 fantasy points. He's 11,400 DraftKings salary. So you're going to have to pay up for Ben Roethlisberger. And Vegas thinks there's going to be 42 points scored in this game with the Pittsburgh Steelers favored by 10 and a half. Now with all the injuries for the Baltimore Ravens, it's hard to know what you're going to get in this game. Will the Ravens be able to score enough points to keep this game competitive? How many times is Ben Roethlisberger going to have to throw the ball in this game? Lots of questions and lots of unknown variables, but if the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to build that 10 and a half point lead, they're going to have to score those points somehow. So I like Ben Roethlisberger here versus the Baltimore Ravens. Now, if you're looking to make your lineup different, take a look at Robert Griffin from the Baltimore Ravens. He's going to be about 42% owned. Projected at 13.6 fantasy points. He's 8,400 DraftKings salary. And we know Vegas thinks the Ravens are going to be trailing by 10 and a half. So this could be a passing game script. So with that low price tag and low ownership, I'm going to have some lineups with Robert Griffin. So I like Robert Griffin III here versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay, let's take a look at the running back position. I like Benny Snell Jr. from the Pittsburgh Steelers. With James Conner out, Benny Snell is going to lead this backfield. He's going to be about 10% owned, projected at 10.1 fantasy points. He's 8,800 DraftKings salary. And this could be a running game script for Benny Snell Jr. If the Pittsburgh Steelers can build a two touchdown lead here, they could run the clock out with Benny Snell Jr. He could rack up the fantasy points in the fourth quarter. So I like Benny Snell Jr. here versus the Baltimore Ravens. Now, if you're looking to save some salary at the running back position and go with a low ownership player, take a look at Gus Edwards from the Baltimore Ravens. He's only going to be about 3% owned, projected at 9.1 fantasy points, and he's only 6,200 DraftKings salary. Now, the risk here is that the Ravens fall behind and have to abandon the running game, and it doesn't look like Gus Edwards gets many targets out of the backfield, but at that low ownership, this is a high-risk, high-reward play. He could get a goal-line carry, get into the end zone and have a decent game on the ground. So I like Gus Edwards here versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all the tools for NFL. NBA is right around the corner. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, 
no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, moving on to the wide receiver position. I like Juju Smith-Schuster from the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's averaging 14.5 fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 7.5 pass targets per game. He's going to be about 36% owned, projected at 13.7 fantasy points. He's 9,600 DraftKings salary. So he's lower salary than Deontay Johnson and Chase Claypool. That's why I prefer Juju Smith-Schuster, who's going to have lower ownership, lower price tag, projected for about the same fantasy points here. So I like Juju Smith-Schuster here versus the Baltimore Ravens. The other wide receiver I like, probably my favorite wide receiver on the slate, I like Marquise Brown from the Baltimore Ravens. He's averaging nine fantasy points per game on the season, getting an average of 5.9 pass targets per game. He's only going to be about 28% owned, projected at 9.5 fantasy points, and he's only 5,800 DraftKings salary. So with the Baltimore Ravens trailing by 10 and a half, this is going to be a passing game script. Marquise Brown could get extra targets and have a big game here. So I like Marquise Brown here versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. And the other Baltimore wide receiver that I like is Des Bryant. He got five pass targets and scored seven fantasy points last game. And he's only going to be about 7% owned, projected at 6.7 fantasy points. And he's only 4,800 DraftKings salary. So with a passing game script for the Baltimore Ravens, Des Bryant is a talented wide receiver. He got more pass targets than Marquise Brown last game. So I like Des Bryant here versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay, moving on to the tight end position. I like Eric Ebron from the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's averaging 9.4 fantasy points per game on the season getting an average of 5.6 pass targets per game. He's only going to be about 19% owned, projected at 10 fantasy points, and he's 6,600 DraftKings salary. So he's had uh, consistent targets and consistent production in the last three games, scoring 14, 6, and 11 fantasy points off of 7, 6, and 6 pass targets. So I like Eric Ebron here versus the Baltimore Ravens. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NFL slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.